How we doing, guys? Yeah, Another yeah. New episode. What's going Hello. on, y'all? Glad to be back. Yeah, I me, mean, bro. Halloween just passed. Actually, yeah, yeah. Wait, no. No, it's coming up. Coming up. Yeah, it's a week, week from now. It's a week yeah, from now. There yeah, you go. Man. You're yep. smart. Ooh, I'm ready for that. Me. I'm actually fucking juice, bro. Yeah. It's going to be dope. It's going to go crazy. Hey, and you know, I was going to say this damn near on the last episode, but I never got to say it. Bro, is it not weird that we made a tradition that children can just go to strangers' houses and get candy? And mm-hmm. get candy. Mm-hmm. Is that not weird as fuck to really think about? And I was thinking the other day, too. I was just like, bro, that got to be like a, I'm going to say the word, bro, and I'm going to probably bleep it. A pedophile's dream. fucking dream, bro. Absolutely. It's like, you know how usually whenever we were kids, our parents would tell us, okay, if you see a white van offering you candy and shit, don't yeah. take the candy or, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean, walk There's over. No pet. Don't do it. Like anybody coming up to you, bro, don't <laughs> yeah. fucking do it, right? Yeah. But specifically those. Yeah. We would hear all those shit about white vans and whatever, yeah. right? Yeah. right? Bro, and it's so crazy because usually it's the guys or the whatever, you know, the person that's trying to get these kids, they're the one offering the candy but on this one night of the year every year they're coming to you mm-hmm. i would think oh. about that the other day. that's so yeah, fucking that's strange. strange bro that's strange. you yeah. know it's a little bit scary when you put it in the whoreality of it you know because think about it, if you have an unaccompanied kid yeah and um you have a king-sized cat bar mm. kid cat bar yeah and uh and you say, hey, yeah, yeah, oh, come here. Uh, I have more in the back. Uh, let, let's let's just go grab. You have all the ki- all the king size bars you yeah, want. Yeah, you have all the king size yeah. bars you I want. I actually have kid. five of them. He's yeah. like, fuck yeah, let me call my other four friends. Oh me, he's like, are you kidding me, bro? I got four friends for these five fucking chocolate bars, bro. Are you serious? Yeah. Match I wonder that. if there let's is any. It. I wonder if there is any stories like that where like kids are being. Gotta like, be. There's gotta be some shit. Hell more, yeah, more had to, because it's too like. You know what I mean? Like just knowing like if you if, literally if, walked up to my front yeah, door. Yeah, that's insane. Maybe do you think that like. Because sex offenders have to make themselves known in mm-hmm. neighborhoods when they move in. Yeah, so yeah, you think yeah. they just uh, like, oh, yeah, that they is probably true. warn. They that just put like, kids. I'm a sex offender in on the front door. Do not come and get candy yeah. from this house because yeah. I will try something. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Oof, that's they, should, they should do that. No, yeah. that is yeah. true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, sex offenders, they do have to tell like. Yeah, they tell the whole neighborhood. Isn't that so They probably tell the kids. They probably tell the kids. I love it though. You got to go and knock on everybody's door. That's what they get. Hello? Yeah. Um. Can I read the script? Hi, hello. My name is Sharif Kaba. Um, I am a registered sex offender. Yeah, no, I don't want whatever you're selling. <laughs> well, I was just, uh, sir, Jeez. excuse me. Um, I, I was just trying to say I was new, new to the neighborhood, and um, I just had to let everyone know that I'm a registered sex offender. So, and which which house do you live at? Um, twenty four nineteen. No, it's like three noted. houses noted. down. Oh, okay, yeah, you got to go from door to door. Oh, door. So like they probably tell the kids like, don't go Cold. to that house. Yeah, and then think about it. Some people that really, because you know, what I mean, other people are just gonna be like, okay, cool. You know, what I mean, they're just gonna be like, all right, that's fucking weird that this guy moved in, whatever. <laughs> and then there's gonna be other people that are just like this. Like when the guy comes to the door, they're just like, oh fuck, I can't wait to hear this guy. Like, let me and, hear it. And then there's, you know what I mean? They're going to play with them and shit. Just like, uh-huh. oh, okay. So uh, what, what what did you do? Oh, absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. So like what, a, what were the circumstances? Uh, I, oh, I, I want to hear your side of the story. Yeah, you're a sick fuck, aren't you? <laughs> you're going to sit there. Actually, <laughs> I, I pissed in the public park. Oh, uh, that's all you did? Are you sure? Yeah, I had to take a piss real good. Mm, you took a piss. Yeah. 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 So you weren't touching kids? No, I just had to take a piss. Look at you. You sick fuck. Get out of my sight. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> that would that be that would that be fucked up though? Like at a party or something like that? Like at a like a, at, at a park or something? Like, you gotta be hella bad. I'm gonna go behind this tree like all the way over here. Yeah, take a piss, bro. Cop was up. Hey, sir, you uh, exposing yourself at this park, aren't you? Like, no, officer, like, I was well, taking a piss. Well, officer, it's like 3 a.m. So there were I, children here eight hours. Yeah, ago. Yeah, there was children here. So eight hours ago, <laughs> their essence is still here. I'm like, come on, bro. You know I'm not this guy, man. I was just at a party. The, the bathrooms are all packed. I mean, come on. Like, I just literally walked down the street. I didn't want to do it in front of everybody. Yeah, that's the story we're going to go with. Get in the police car. Come on. Get in the car, sir. Get in the car, sir. Come on. But that's fucking crazy. I was just thinking about that the other day. I was like, that's hella interesting. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't know. The Halloween shit is weird, bro. I never, I never thought about it like that. Like we're literally getting food from strangers, and we trust it. And we just trust it's it. It's in a yeah. wrapper, though. Yeah, it's and that's even that worse. True. I think that's even fucking no. worse. That means no. it's safer. Nah, I think that's worse, bro. Like, I, it depends on the wrapper. I'm so gonna say are this. you gonna take a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on on uh, Halloween? Just Halloween? like the bare handed, they're just giving. <laughs> they're like a napkin. <laughs> they're like, here, yo, you get one, and you get one. They're handing out PB and J's. Like, thank you. I'll be sick. I mean, it's like, ah, nah. What are they sitting there making nah. it? In front of me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell no. They're just sitting in their front porch they making PB and J's. Yuck. Ooh, he got like peanut butter on his fingers. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you want chunky or creamy? You're a skips guy, aren't you? <laughs> 
That's <laughs> wild, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. So I asked him this last year, bro. What was some of the strangest shit you ever got on Halloween? Um, like for candy, you know what I mean? Instead of candy and substitute of candy. I remember getting. I remember because I always had my pillowcase and I would unload it all at the end. Yep. And I remember having, um, you know, nothing crazy. I would have like figure, like a uh, like little plastic spiders and stuff. Oh, oh yeah, like yeah. toys and shit. People oh, would okay. people would hand out like spiders. Mm -hmm. So you like, never uh, got nothing like. Because like, no, we were saying like, like I got fucking, like pre -sons I've gotten like, popcorn. popcorn. I've gotten raw cup noodles. noodles. Cup of noodles. Yeah, I've gotten cup noodles. Okay. Um, I think somebody was barbecuing and they just like gave me a plate. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro. Plate. Yeah, just gave me like a plate. I was like, all right, man. I'll take like you know. I <laughs> forgot what it was, but I think it was like chicken and something else. You know what I mean? On the plate. You ate it. I was a kid, bro. I was just like, fuck it. I thought it was funny. Yeah. Me and my homies were just like, bro, that's so crazy. They just gave us plates. Yeah, you know I'm saying so. <clears throat> I remember one time. I don't. I don't, I don't know. I forgot who told me, but they said like there was like a dentist who worked on like who oh, lived on his neighborhood. Yeah, or I have one of those too. And then I've gotten floss. Yeah, he would uh, give them like he would give and kids toothbrush. Like, it was like a set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought yeah. that was pretty cool though. That's actually kind of pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. You know, even because it, it makes sense. So it's like you're gonna need this fucking yeah, toothbrush true. and floss after. True. But as a kid, you're like, fuck oh, you, why man. are you giving me floss? Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. The fuck I hate it's like, bro, don't even remind me of this shit that I'm gonna have fucking crazy cavities after this weekend. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck, bro. Let me go crazy. But yeah, bro, I got this one story about this fucking dude. Happened in St. Louis, like, in the 90s, like, 1990, 1991. A whole bunch of girls just started going missing and ended up dying. And they named this guy the package killer. And mostly because the way he would leave his victims, like, packaged and shit. What? Like, Wait, what do you mean, packaged? So, like, the first girl he killed uh, it was a girl named Robin Milhen. She went missing on March 22nd, 1990. And she was um, she was a fun-time worker, too. Uh -huh. I should probably add that. Fun-time worker, you know what that is? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> she was found four days later on the side of the highway, stuffed in between two, two mattresses. What? Whoa. Like, strangled, and she was dead. And she was also, like, a... I guess she was, like, a... And a lot of these girls who were killed Getting were... Killed were like newly like new mothers damn near oh, like shit. they just had babies and shit so yeah. i don't know if that was targeted it. yeah that's what i'm saying i don't know if that's targeted or if it was it, random yeah yeah and then on june 11th this other girl named donna gets found inside a trash can and her body is so decomposed they couldn't even find out the cause of death what yeah she fucking what? manie bro they never found out what happened to her mm -mm. <sighs> on october 4th uh, this girl named Brenda is found dead like five months after she was reported missing. So she was reported missing for like five months already. And then they find her dead inside this trash can. The next year on February, uh, on February 17th, this other girl who's also a, a fun time worker gets found. She, she gets found dead inside a wooden box. And so like all his people, he packages them in like little like packages. So that's why they call him the package killer. What the and fuck? pretty much after that, that girl, the murders kind of stopped and the case went cold for hella long, bro. Yeah. And never found out who it was until this year. This in, year? In April of 2022. What the fuck? They found, because well, of DNA, they found the guy who actually was the one who killed him. Doing all this. Yeah. His name was like, I don't know how to say his last name. His name was like Gary, like, Mulk, M Mulberger, or yeah, Mulberg yeah. or Mulkberg or okay. something like that. Yeah. And he was already in jail for uh, killing someone in like 1993 or something. Mm. Really? Yeah. He was already, started getting, he already so, had a, already he already had a life sentence. Yeah. So they, oh, so he, they just fucking they just do it on double him. life they sentence. Yeah. They, they stacked it on him. Yeah. At that point, it's just kind of like, dude, what it's is crazy, the use yeah, of even, bro. you know what I mean? Like, cause is that even justice? He's already there. You should just give it to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it to another dude. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Nah, but no, really. In, Someone in, has in, to pay. in reality, though, bro, I'm saying. Uh, yeah, like, he's already locked. Yeah, he's already in there. Yeah. yeah. Bless you. Thank you. I think. I don't know. I think maybe you change how he serves his sentence. Mm. What do you mean? That's it. I heard, like, how would you change it? Say then? he was in a minimum security. You throw him to a maximum. Okay. Say yeah. he's in a maximum. I'd, well, I, don't, do I, I don't believe in isolation. Yeah. That just drives people crazy. <laughs> yeah. On me. Yeah. Um, I would say execution over isolation. Oh God, yeah, it's yeah, crazy that's as true. it sounds. I think that, yeah, I that's some, fact, though. I heard some, but uh, some people said that they're. I think they're thinking about um, giving him the death sentence now. And, and right, I think yeah, a lot of sure. dudes wish for that. Yeah, and yeah. if they want that, please. Yeah, because like, not. Nah, I think it even you know because at the same time, some people would argue that that's the easier way out, though. You know, what I mean, True. people want to die True. at this point. You know, what I'm saying, look at the way they live their lives. But at the same time, I did see it was a video of this guy and you know when you were just saying they're gonna go crazy if you're just by yourself mm -hmm. bro there was this dude they put him in solitude you feel me for i forgot how long and when they took him out bro the dude didn't even know how to speak english 
Like he couldn't, and he was—he oh, was speaking English. He mm-hmm. didn't even know how to like. He couldn't. They didn't know what language he was speaking. He was never talking like a caveman when he came out of that mm-hmm. motherfucker. Mm-hmm. How scrambled his brain yeah. was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just speaking in tongues, bro. Like, you know, crazy shit. Being that far from, like, you know what I mean? You're being not around any humans, no one, bro. Yeah, yeah you. You're just alone with your thoughts. I don't. I forgot what country does it, but I know when they get captives of um like war and uh-huh. stuff or um or anything like that. They I forgot where it is, but they basically have um. A room that's all white and it's insanely quiet so you can't hear anything oh shit oh, like shit. It, it's it's dead it's like deathly silent yeah and um i think people make it like i think like two days i think like, i know i think i heard about this oh you know what I'm talking yeah, about? yeah 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 i know what and, you they, mean. and people go insane in there yeah. because it's so, so quiet. quiet that it's that it drives you insane i see that's interesting i don't know i don't know how that works because is it like what do you think is driving us insane and just because of the think how, how you're with your own is. brain yeah and, and think about it those people are already not in a good mental state that's true that's i'm true. captured you, you, i'm fucking captured i don't yeah, know if i'm yeah. gonna fucking die or not right. yeah, yeah. yeah. And you throw them in a sign in a room that is purely silent and all white like y- like it's not like you have a visual to be like i'm gonna you get know, my that, shit distracted it's, everything's it, all blank no distract it's like just your brain yeah like you have nothing visually to look at and then you can't hear anything auditorily so everything you're taking in is in here and it's just circulating yeah, that is true. circulating okay so what would you what would you say about a person that is completely sane and they get in there do you think it would still be the same yeah yes. i think it would be yeah, yeah. absolutely cuz see cuz you were just saying like and on top of that that they're already mentally yeah, you know they're, they're not there mm-hmm. so i'm saying you don't you still don't think there's any difference i think i think the time to go insane would be a little bit longer okay, for somebody so, who's sane for somebody who's in their right mind, they'll go in there. And I know you don't actually know the numbers, but if you had to guess, what, how long do you think a person that's sane is going versus them versus a person okay. that's not? Sane, I would say about three to four days mm-hmm. when you start to go crazy. Yeah. And I would say insane, I'll give them two days. Because you said, dude, it was two days, right? Or So I, I don't I don't even know, but uh, I know okay. it's I know it's quick. Mm-hmm. I know it's very quick. Is it like the people they captured and shit, huh? Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, prisoners okay. of war. That's I mean, crazy. they did that shit hella times in, but they must have hella rooms like that. Man. Oh, God. Man, and it's all just quiet. Yeah, that's fucking insane. I don't, that's so crazy. Like, how, that's crazy how solitude will like really drive you insane bro really the, too, fact, the fact that much. it scrambled that nigga's brain what the fuck mm-hmm. that's so interesting like what why does it do that you've been away from so much people is it just because like but how can you forget that that's what i'm saying but maybe it's because dude wasn't speaking for so long your brain's not being stimulated you know so then your I, brain just starts to shut yeah, down and to deteriorate mm-hmm. but see at the same time you're always thinking so i'm saying how can i forget my thoughts or my my you know the way i sound or the way that i pronunciate words how can i forget any of that if i'm always thinking of that because think about it when you think in your head it's in your voice Mm -hmm. am i tripping do you not kind of hear yourself yeah Yeah. and and you know what i'm saying it's it sounds like the way that you speak even when you're you know what i'm saying right right, right. when you're thinking in your head Mm -hmm. so i'm saying i know how i pronunciate words i know how i talk i know how to speak english i know whatever other language i know how to speak how can I forget that just because I've been locked up in solitude for four years or however long that dude was locked up for? You know what I mean? You have to speak. You have to keep speaking. Your your brain's a muscle. You have to keep. Yeah, yeah, you have to fact. keep. You have to keep working yeah, it in order for it to, for it to stay in shape. So do you think that's why we don't notice? Is because we talk every day. We're mm-hmm. around people yeah. every day. You're getting stimulated and you your muscles being worked. But mm-hmm. if you're alone, to the neck, yeah, just by yourself. Bro. It's just sitting there, like, bro. And and then say if you're talking and you're like pronunciating and you're trying to keep your vocabulary, mm-hmm. then you're just talking to yourself. And you can and talk that'll to probably yourself, make you go crazy. <laughs> talking to yourself for so long for two days straight. Yeah. See, I mean, and that's crazy though too, because like I mean, you know, just loneliness in general. It seems so normal nowadays you know what i mean the way Mm. we speak about it whatever but bro if it can be to that extent that's fucking dangerous that it can you know what i mean because it seems like anything in this world you do it too much it's fucking it could be detrimental you know what i'm saying to the next level so yeah that's interesting that's that's a crazy way to like you said they use that to like torture people like yeah so crazy i'm saying this is when you sit in a room like i I think the cia for like interrogation they they use like certain songs i forgot what songs i forgot there was like a list of songs that they use but they're like regular songs that like people yeah like justin bieber baby yeah or something like that yeah no they'll play it on repeat for like hours on hours and for like a terrorist or whoever the fuck to get him to start talking shit yeah Yeah, it's so crazy you guys heard of the russian sleep experiment 
I think I, I heard a little bit of it. I think it had to do with um, that Stranger Things shit. I might be wrong. I don't remember because I remember I told you an episode a little bit on Spotify and it might have been that. Or it was Project MK Ultra. I don't remember, but go ahead. Explain. So I, basically, I the Russians, they took soldiers, prisoners of war and um, and they're like, let's just, while we have them, let's do some experiments. Was this one yeah. they were trying to like brainwash them and shit? No. Okay. That let, was let's th- deprive them of sleep and let's see how they react. So they put like, I forgot how many people it was in a room and they kept giving them methamphetamines so stay up to stay up so wow. they, they so like you can't like you i don't think you can sleep if you even tried on a methamphetamine so they kept f- feeding it to to these people and um they were marking down the results and i forgot by what day it was but basically like it deteriorated so quickly like the flesh started to like fall off of people Holy they shit. started like you see okay I don't think that was because of sleep. I think because that was all the fucking methamphetamines that they're feeding. They're them. pushing that on top of sleep, on top of like the conditions of yeah. everything. They they kept crying and screaming, but they could because what they would do is they would gas the room. I oh, believe shit. they would gas the room with the but then they would just breathe it up. Oh, and damn. they were, they were begging for it. They're like they were begging to get the net to to them what for them the to send hell? it back again. And mm-hmm. so they turned them into fiends. Yeah. Uh-huh. What mm-hmm. the fuck, bro? See, that's so weird how humans are, bro. We'll just be like all right well, dude, yeah, now bro. we have these people let's Lab just do rats. shit with them yeah, yeah. you know what i mean experiment and i don't know that's that's why even when i was saying when we on the i think it was like episode three uh, of youtube uh, we were saying like oh you know if aliens came down here do you think they'll be cool or whatever we do and that's what i was saying bro anything that has more power or more and you know with knowledge is power especially more knowledge you're going to want to understand these things that are almost less than mm-hmm. you that's how you're looking at it you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like why do you think a person like mustache guy i'm not even gonna say it but you know what i'm talking <laughs> about bro right here he yeah. was doing the craziest shit to these people Insane. bro who just thinks let me make like a boiler room where i'm tricking these people thinking they're taking showers bro Crazy what and then i just gas these people to death bro that's so dark you know what i'm saying Terrible. just shit like that is so crazy but that's insane that they were really having these people just stay the fuck up and saw, yeah. do all these weird experiments but it's for crazy what? how like humans like those were soldiers yeah and then they turned into fucking dope fiends yeah yeah, yeah. like Quick. it's crazy Quick. how a brain could go from something that's strong or you know mm-hmm. what I mean or whatever Substances. to something that's begging like yeah. we need more we need, you know like that's so crazy bro mm-hmm. anything we do yeah even people that are like starving for food bro like they'll like do a lot it, kill for bro. it and shit yeah, like, we'll do a lot bro when yeah. we get pushed to you know when to the edge we will do a lot as human beings bro you know i mean a lot of shit that you don't even think you would yeah. do that's scary as fuck mm-hmm. hey but on a more serious note what color tastes the best what color tastes the best that's a good ass question that's almost kind of that thing of like you know because now that you say that you know how orange is a color Mm -hmm. and it's also a fruit Mm -hmm. there's nothing else like that what else is the name and it's also the color of it yeah huh mandarin no mandarin mandarin's a color yeah what color is that is that it's like orange it is yeah it's like a reddish orange have you seen mandarin an actual mandarin like a fruit yeah Yeah. i don't mean a (laughs) person or whatever like i'm saying like, yeah like the fruit yeah yeah there's a fruit called mandarin you never had that before yeah, look, never had like a mandarin smaller. what does it look like you ever it's seen like a, it's like a cutie right? yeah yeah it's like a cutie yeah, yeah. oh so it's like a little like a orange? tangerine it's orange yeah it's like a tangerine but why yeah, the but fuck like are there so many them. names for yeah. oranges there's yeah. orange tangerine uh, and then mandarin. now a mandarin yeah, yeah, yeah what the fuck you never seen the uh you know the orange uh haritos yeah yeah, yeah. it says mandarin on it what the fuck yeah. nigga i just thought that was something else i didn't know it had to do with a fruit no nah, no nah. that's just the spanish word for mandarin is mandarin or whatever the fuck what the mandarin fuck the so do you think it's orange or no nah, i think it's red you think red yeah i'm a big blue guy blue is really good too yeah blue and green i was gonna say green i was just green gonna say actually, green. i think yeah. green is Green's like cool. a fucking green is unbeatable you know okay red has a lot of red's like strawberry yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying apples like apples yeah. and shit there's a lot of good like but red candy apples comes in a lot of different colors that's though. That's true thing about apples, and i do cool. like green apples more than i like that i like the red oh, ones no yeah. Yeah. <laughs> both of you yeah green yeah. apples go green apples go fucking crazy i like that little sour i like that little sour bro it's like sour and sweet a little bit you know what i'm saying when you get it at the right time you know what i'm saying like a caramel green green apple oh my god that shit goes crazy <laughs> he's sick. Oh, what the fuck? He's sick. I used to have braces, man. Yeah, what's, no, what's, what's something that like That's everyone's seen before that you've never seen? Like, like for example, like I've never watched any Harry Potter movies. I never watched the Lord of the Rings yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. I never watched the Matrix before. Uh-huh. Like, there's Wait, a lot of never sh- I've never seen the Matrix. Matrix. Never seen a single one. Wow. There's like so much shit that I feel like a lot of people have seen. There's like, like I never watched John Wick or anything like that. And uh-huh. I feel like you a lot of crazy. 
Euphoria. Oh I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Euphoria is good yeah. as fuck. No. I'm not gonna lie, you both are gonna have I, a lot. I started it. You got the yeah, good ones yeah. that you haven't seen. Okay, I'll say I, one I, I haven't seen. Damn near any anime. Like, yeah, 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 you're out the loop. Uh, let me say. Okay, this is crazy, bro. I actually haven't watched the first Avatar, the Blue People. You never what? seen Avatar, I swear, bro. Never seen. Wow. It. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be that honest. That is crazy. Okay, the only reason, see, and I'm not gonna lie, Whoa. it's like I'd rather just not tell people, but I know enough where I can you hold know, up a conversation, honestly, so I just won't say. I'll just sit there and be like, it. "I've seen the Avatar. Like, I've seen the Avatar. I barely don't remember a single thing from the movie. Really? Really? Yeah. I remember like slight shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know I remember what I'm a saying? lot. You seen? It's hey, brother, brother, movie. did you see that the new one's coming out? They, they're dropping Avatar? a yeah, Way of Water. They nigga, hella years later, yeah, they're dropping a new one. Yeah, yeah, it's called Ways of Water. You ever seen the trailer for it? Uh-uh. Yeah, it's actually no. hard body. Yeah, that no, shit's hard, hard as yeah. fuck. Yeah, I want to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be interesting, bro. And like, they already and they already announced that they're dropping a three. Yeah, a three. Yeah, yeah they're they're dropping a three. like a twenty. Probably twenty fifty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Twenty eighty seven. Yeah, on me. We're gonna be old ass men, yeah. hella <laughs> decrepit and shit. Yeah. You know what's so crazy about them? Like Avatar's like. It's one of the like biggest movies in the world or whatever. Uh-huh. But there's so much people like no one never fucking talks about it. I though. never hear like because you'll see this. You'll see like a whole Lord of the Rings fan base. You'll see the Star Wars fan yeah. base. But I don't see an Avatar fan base. They're all pulling up to Comic Con. I don't see people dressed up as the little Navi exactly. people and shit. It's, there's no like crazy quote from Avatar. They're like I like hit. I'm your father type yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no, there's none of that from the Avatar, yeah. bro. I promise you. I think that where they're behind is they only have a single movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And There's everything else we did say has true. a lot of everything but else you know. that you named has like. Yeah, but then again, there's true. a lot of yeah. movies that are like like Pulp Fiction. There's only one, but people quote the fuck out that movie. That's true. They, yeah. But then again, you know the way Quentin Tarantino does his movies, it's a lot. You know, that is true. Um, mm. conversation driven and character based whatever so you know i feel like uh with avatar it was more so just a story about i think it was more for the 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 look of it yeah yeah like it was just like look looks. what we can do yeah you yeah. know what i'm saying like even though the story was great i'm not gonna lie it's still a good story I've never but, seen know, the movie though you yeah, know i mean i'm just saying <laughs> no 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 i'm just saying no, hold on hold on hold on what happened? No, i'm saying no this this is the thing and it's the interesting part about it bro but you i've know never the movie, watched though. the movie but i know the yeah, whole I fucking movie about, yeah i, I literally could sit here and t- talk about enough details with y'all and we could bro i promise guy in a wheelchair guy in the wheelchair he ends up fucking becoming one of the avatars he becomes one of the test subjects damn near to go to the other planet mm-hmm. and shit like that there's a dude who's like a normal guy he's like a general or some shit yeah, yeah. he gets in a big ass robot suit starts trying to kill all the fucking you know what i mean the aliens okay. and shit Loosely, and then he yes. ends up following falling in love not the general guy but the guy who was in the wheelchair he falls in love with zoe one of the saldana. actual what cops who's zoe saldana mm-hmm. come on bro they i can fuck, keep going they fuck bro. with their hair they fuck with their hair yeah okay. you know what i'm saying they have crazy creatures that they can they ride can on and shit yeah, 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 yeah you know what yeah. i'm saying he's certified you know i'm just being honest but i can keep going bro the fucking plants are crazy alive looking and shit they can connect their hair to the plant and shit or come to on, animals bro. or to animals come yeah, on bro yeah. this will make me think um have you ever seen anyone dress up as avatar for halloween never i feel like that'd be kind of tough oh god hey but what was the weakest costume that you guys had growing up that you, I per- personally, yeah. personally, yeah. yeah. Ooh, I know he's had a couple bad ones, bro. I, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you've told me. That's why you told me last year. Bro. You told me. You told me last year. A couple were makeshift. That's why. I think the. I think the part. I mean, like a lot of my costumes for like a cool minute was just like hoodie and a mask. Oh God, really? Yeah, was that like that? I was too. I was too. Yeah, like once at like 12 years old, I was like, yeah, I don't want to wear a full fucking blown out costume. Isn't a cool guy. Yeah, I'm just wearing a hoodie and a mask. On, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's okay. pretty bad. I'll say, bro. I think honestly, until like the ones that we that we got, it's yeah, like yeah. the first time in how long that I've actually like dressed up as like a whole thing. Now, okay. only reason why I say it was my worst costume, not because of the way it looked, just because of the malfunction that was just going on the whole day with that costume. I had. Do you remember um, those Halloween masks where it would have like the blood pump? Oh yeah, yeah. I had like one the of those. One. Yeah, yeah. I had yeah. one of those, and it was um, I think it was Jason. It might okay. have been Jason, or it was Ghostface. It doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. I had one of those. I had like the whole costume and everything, bro. And you know what I mean, all my homies are sitting like, bro, it's so hard, bro. Like, and the blood pumps, and I'm like, yeah, bro. You know what I mean? The blood's just going all over the face uh, and shit. They're all just sitting like, bro, that's crazy. I'm like, hella young. I get to class, bro. And I keep just doing it. You know what I mean? I keep turning around to my homie, showing my face and shit. I'm wearing the mask. I keep pumping it. And they're just like, yo, that's fucking crazy, bro. It doesn't get old, right? Mm -hmm. And I keep doing it. I keep doing it. And I don't know if I just did it too much. And there's like a nozzle or something on the bottom of it. You know what I'm saying? Where And I think you can like refill it. Or or, I I said refill it. I'm tripping. I I was like twisting it or some shit, Mm -hmm. just playing with it. And the motherfucker popped on me, bruh. And all of the blood spilled over my costume. I'm telling you. And I was damn near just sitting like that for the whole day. And then like because of that, I forgot why, but the mask damn near became like stained on the inside oh, because of all the shit dripping yeah, out. I don't know why, but you know what I mean? On some weird shit. So it looked hella weird, bro. My fucking costume 
was all you know Fuck what I mean God, yeah it looks hella weird bro <laughs> you know what I'm saying and then I had to like I remember um, we had to like call one of the janitors inside because there was hella blood oh. like just on the floor in my classroom you know what I mean around my area I was like oh was my fucking god bro this is terrible you know what I mean but yeah I don't know most of my costumes like I would, like, I would go I would always go as like a zombie all the time like okay. zombie was like my go to like, go to yeah. like I'd be like a zombie doctor and then I'd be like stupid. a zombie like businessman <laughs> like a zombie soldier like that yeah, yeah it's just different variations okay. it's just like that like there's probably like years of like Halloween pictures that's of me in a row was just like different zombie characters yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. that's hella okay. funny bro yeah what about you though what would you say is the worst I wouldn't I wouldn't say I had like a worst I would say I was a girl one year <laughs> really uh-huh. what was this uh, this was wasn't too long ago Sixth grade, fifth grade, oh, fifth okay, grade. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, last year. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, my my brother and uh, my buddy at the time, we we decided to dress up as girls. Yeah. So it was it was lit. We went to Savers, got whole, the whole. Well, fit. what kind? Like, are you guys like cheerleaders? What are you guys doing? Regular girls, oh, okay, just like okay. we we got regular. I got an ugly brown shirt uh-huh. and some and some pants or whatever, and then I got a, a wig, blonde wig. wig. I put my my stepmom's lis- lipstick on. <laughs> put it <hella> crazy. <laughs> yeah, put it on, and um, I remember it was funny. Um, when we were going to houses. My brother and I walk up to the door and they're like, oh, you guys are so beautiful. What are you? <laughs> we're like, we're girls. <laughs> they're like, what? I'm already like, dollar, yeah, we're I... girls for Halloween. Yeah. They're like, oh, you guys are boys. <laughs> a lot of people didn't fuck? understand. That's it. crazy. Click. Oh, that we makes sense. You were little yeah, ass we were kids. Yeah, so they were just yeah. like, oh, beautiful. Okay. gorgeous yeah, little yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's hella funny. And yeah. then you're, fifth, you're like fifth You're a little ass kids. you can't tell. Yeah. Your fucking voice is hella like beautiful light. Trick or treat. You know. <laughs> but now, hey, you know what's crazy too? I don't know if I ever told you this story. Speaking of just kind of a little bit of cross dressing, bro, you know this story, and it have and there's it, it has a girl that we both know, which is hella funny. When I was in second grade, I had a crush on this one girl, and bro, I just wanted her so bad. This was probably like one of my first crushes ever. Okay. And I would always see her in class. She would always be chopping it up with you know just other people. And I remember one of her home girls was telling like a couple of boys because I think one of the home, like one of the one of my homies was just like, bro, I'm gonna say her name was V. He was like, what is V like? You know what I mean? Like, what is she liking to do? And we're little ass kids, bro. Uh-huh. Like, what is she liking a man? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and her her homegirl's just like, well, honestly, she likes funny guys. So I'm just like, oh, bet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just watching fucking Eddie Murphy, Dave Chappelle and shit with my dad like a couple nights ago, bro. It's good. So I was watching Eddie Murphy with my dad. And I forgot which one. I don't know if it was Eddie Murphy or somebody else, but I was watching some comedian. I swear I think it was Eddie Murphy. I was watching some comedian, and while he was on stage, he threw on like some high heels or something like that mm-hmm. for a joke. Mm-hmm. Everybody was weak, right? So I was just like, "This is." I don't know why this is what I got out of the message. I didn't get the jokes. I was I wasn't practicing on my my you know what I mean, my timing or my bits any mm-hmm. of that. I just said, "I just got to get the heels straight to the heels." So I was just like, "Hmm, who's a lady I know who has heels?" <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I go to my mom's room, bruh, and, bro, I've done so much fucking stupid shit to my mom, bruh. She is a saint to even still be dealing with me to this day, bro. I went to her room, bro. I took these, like, gold heels that were absolutely terrible. Sorry, mom. I'm not even getting over it. They were terrible, bro. They looked strange. Like, I, I throw those on. Well, I throw them in my backpack. Next morning, I get on the bus, and I don't know why I did this, but you can go inside and ask my brother, bro. We're sitting on the bus together, and I'm on the bus. I'm like, okay. I'm not going to wait to get to class to put these on. I'm going to put them on the fucking bus, bro. I throw them on the bus. I'm committed. Throw them on the bus, bro. And my brother is just sitting there like, oh, my fucking God. He moves up and gets away from me. He doesn't sit next to me. I'm like, whatever, bro. I get off the bus. I get into class. And while I'm in class, I'm like, bro, I got to make this into a fucking, uh, you know what I mean? I got to make sure everybody see me. So I sit there. I throw my feet up on the desk like this. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I throw both both the feet up on the desk, bro. Mm -hmm. Old girl turns around. I get the laugh. Uh-huh. I get the laugh, right? So I'm like, let's yeah. fucking I'm go. Yeah. I'm in there. I'm in there, bro. I'm fucking it. in there. I got her. I got I'm her, right? Her I'm going to hold her hand at lunch today, bro. Mm-hmm. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? That was like fucking back in the day, bro. He's like, bro, I get the bro. She, hold, she held my hand today, bro. He's like, swear to God. <laughs> hey, I hugged her after. No, 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 no. She I hugged, hugged her, bro. <laughs> I hugged her, cap, bro. Cap, cap, cap. Bro, you did not hug her, bro. <laughs> Nigga, we hugged for a long time, too. <laughs> it was a long ass hug, bro. It was a long hug, bro. Like, I ain't allowed to hold her. Like we were shit. embracing. Yeah, we were really, it was really embracing, bro. <laughs> no fucking way, dude. But not yet. And then, so, bro, I do that. She laughs. And. I want you to guess how this ends. 
Do I get the girl? No. Not at all, bro. Mm, no. She ended up fucking with my homeboy anyways. Whoa, because he Even wore a, regular sketchers. Because he was a regular, <laughs> regular guy. Yeah, Healy's on. Yeah, Healy's on or some shit, you know what I mean? Oh. And on top of that, cut he had spiky hair. It was the Ooh. thing back in the day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you, know many, you don't know how many times spiky hair dudes stole bitches from me in middle school, bro. bro. Them much, niggas, bro, bro were undefeated <laughs> back much, in the day, bro. bro. I think what was the most embarrassing, like, hairstyle you think he had? For the longest time, and I thought I was so fucking cool, bro. <laughs> I used to get all this shit like faded right here, right? <sighs> and I'll get like, like getting your bald faded on the side, bro. Oh my and I'll just keep the top piece right here. <gasps> and I'll, and I'll oh, spike it up like this. No. Just the top part like this. <laughs> and I thought I was he so. He was nasty. And like fourth, like third grade and shit, bro. You were a menace. I thought I was so fucking cool. I think I wake bro. up hella early in the morning. Hell yeah. Mo- the la gorilla, the gorilla, gorilla, <laughs> yeah, gorilla like green yeah, color. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was gorilla snot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's hella funny, bro. Oh my god, I'll probably say, bro. And you've seen the pictures, bro. This, these niggas love these pictures. I was in, I was second grade too. But I know, I knew why literature. exactly. I knew why she wasn't rocking with me, bro. I was a bald headed little fuck. <clears throat> I was probably the worst haircut. Mm. And it wasn't my fault, though. It was just that my dad was, he didn't want to go to a barber shop. He was just like, you know, I don't really want to do pay, bro. Like, I don't want to, I'll just cut you out back, bro. You know what I'm saying? So Ooh. he would just sit there and cut us. Actually, Spearman. he would fuck around and cut us in the living room or the kitchen, actually. Cut us in the kitchen, sit there, throw the towel over, you know what I'm saying? And he was ass. My dad was terrible, oh. bro. He would fuck us up. So he would sit there. Bro, my mom would he do was, the same shit, bro. He'll cut the hair, bro. He'll like, he like mm. he'll try to line me up, you know what I'm saying? Give me something cool. Like, he'll sit there, look back, he'll be like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Fuck it. Fuck it, yeah, fuck it. Oh. Shave my whole head bald every oh. time, bro. He would just I'm telling you, because he'll mess up, yeah. So I'll go to school bald. And then, bro, I remember just one day, bro, I decided, I was like, fuck it, bro, I'm not going out like this, bro. I'm going to throw it on a beanie, you feel me? Mm. And our teacher, you know, she wouldn't let us wear beanies in class and shit. Bitch had to make me a spectacle. Oh, Why would you do that? She says, share, sure, you know, we say about beanies in class. Damn, like some little jingle yeah, or some shit, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh my God, bro. So everybody and their mom is like, turn like, around and shit. <laughs> Immediately starts looking yeah, at the me. unveiling. Oh, me. They all want to see me fucking take my beanie off because they're like, wait, why is he wearing a beanie today in yeah. class, bro? It's summer. It's summertime. Yeah, it's fucking it's blazing. Awesome. He's sweating. <laughs> this nigga's head is sweating right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bro, took it off, bro. Everybody and their mom was laughing, bro. She's like, okay, guys, come on. Oh. I was sitting there, bro. Come on, bro. Oh. You know Did you say I mean? she ended up letting you yeah, keep the beanie yeah. on? She ended up letting me keep it on. She let me, she let me put it back on anyway. Because she's seen like, your hairline. Fucking, she's, yeah. like, she's like, oh my God. Yeah, just put that back on. It's even worse. I think it's even worse, bro. Okay, you you get a pass. Put that back on. Shit. Terrible, bro. I, that was, yeah. I remember I always used to have long curly hair, mm-hmm. and uh, one time my dad faded up, kind of just like this right here, mm-hmm. but um, with the fade on the side. I felt so naked. I felt so Hell naked. I, I felt like my dad had like crossed the line. <laughs> I was so upset, and I remember throwing on a hoodie vividly, throwing on a hoodie, going to school, and sitting in class and wearing my hoodie during class, and and no teacher saying anything. I remember during nap time, I always used to knock out during <laughs> nap time. So I lay my mat down and I lay down and I'm like, and I, and I have my hoodie on and I'm like looking around and I'm like making sure everybody's asleep. So I'm yep. like, I cannot take Let my hoodie. Know. I can't, yeah, no man. one can see. So then I remember laying down and I remember staying awake the whole nap time. Cause I was like, somebody's going to rip my, my yep. someone's going to pull my <laughs> hoodie back and they're going to see it was that the, serious. The, the monster that I truly am. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember, yeah, I remember that was a stressful time in my hair growing out. And oh then, God. And then I just had to spike it. Yeah, and yeah, the yeah, flat yeah, top was yeah, the vision. Oh my God. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm already gnawing, bro. That's helpful. Or yeah, my mom just do me bored. All yeah. Should do that shit to me too. Throw me in the backyard, bro. Just shake my shit bro all my brothers and sisters would get on me bro on me see and my brothers my brothers would try to get on me but it's like nigga you getting it right after what the fuck you gotta get it right <laughs> oh next God. you know what I'm saying? you're next like, in line like, nigga, he's you not next. learning what are you talking about on me the he's dad's not learning his lesson learning shit. <laughs> He <laughs> has not got better at all, nigga. He's been cutting us down in our whole lives, nigga. Yeah. This nigga, you know what I'm saying? I feel like yeah, as a better. kid, I, I feel like everyone just, I don't know if everyone just went through. I feel like I just, my whole, like, young childhood was just filled with just dumb, embarrassing stories, bro. Like, bro, I remember this one, bro. I don't know what the- I don't know what the hell is wrong with me, bro. Uh, I used to live across the street from these girls when I was a kid, like like first grade and shit like that. But I was like eight or something, bro. I was like or like first to like fourth grade. Like I knew this girl. Mm-hmm. I lived across the street from her and shit. And it was always like one of those where like you kind of like liked her, but you think girls are still gross and shit. Yeah. So it was like one of those. So I'd always just hang out with her just friends. And I don't know why, bro. I thought it would just be funny, bro. I was like, oh, this will be funny, bro. I'm like, like, cause I remember one time we were eating hella watermelon or something like that, and I had to take a fat ass piss. And I was like, oh, you know, it'd be funny. But it's not like she, it, it, this is why my brain is so stupid because like, it's not like she was in the bathroom to see what I was doing that was funny. I was like, this would just be funny to do. I decided to try to piss like a dog, like lift my leg up. 
<laughs> but I didn't get the concept that like I would have to be fully naked to do that. Fucking idiot. So I still had my like my shorts on and I kinda just like lifted my leg up over the back, over the toilet and I just pissed all over myself. Through your bro. shorts. Oh my God. All over my it was just all over my I just pissed all over myself, bro. <laughs> and it no, I took my shorts off, but I had them around my ankles when I lifted uh, up my leg. So, so I just run it. Yeah, I just got straight into my shorts. <laughs> and I remember walking like out the bathroom and she was like, Hey, like we were supposed to do something. She's like, Okay, you wanna watch like the movie or whatever? And I was like, I gotta go home right now. And she's like, Why? I was like, I was like, I just gotta go home. And I literally like, ran across the street. Like that's probably the fastest I ever ran in my life, bro. I was like fucking lunging over to the fucking cross the street. I was like, bro, that's so fucking embarrassing, bro. Like my whole life as a kid, I think I just did so much dumb, embarrassing shit oh, to yeah, myself, bro. For sure. My life is just full of just crazy embarrassing stories like that. Like one time when I was like in fifth grade. I remember I had a fat ass crush on a girl and it was her birthday. Around the time, like, I used to work at the flea market when I was like in fifth grade, when I was like 10. I used to work at the stand to sell shoes. And the dude told me, like, oh yeah, you know, if you ever want some shoes, just let me know. And I was like, all right, bet, bet, let me get those ones. And there was like shoes for her, like some like fake ass airwalks or some shit. <laughs> and then uh, I brought it to her on her birthday. I had this big ass like birthday card that I got from like some gas station. It was like fucking, it was literally like this big, bro. It was a huge ass like, like a birthday card for some reason. Big spender. Yeah, what grade I, was this? Uh, fifth grade. Dang, okay. No yeah, yeah. And, uh, cause I had a job, are you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I was getting like 20, 20 bucks uh twenty bucks a weekend. <laughs> and then I had my sister like write like some shit in there. Like I was just like I remember I was laying on my sister's bed and she was on the floor and I was just spewing like my heart out. My sister was just <laughs> yeah. writing it out into this big ass like oh birthday God. card, right? And I walk up, bro, I'm hell excited, bro, because it's her birthday. I was like, Oh yeah, this is I'm for sure going bag her shit, bro. Yeah. I walk up in line, bro. Like I'm I'm damn near the first person, you know, like in I don't know at your school, like only school they make you like line up in the morning before you get into your classroom or some shit okay, yeah, yeah. and i remember i was like i was i got early and i was first in line i was sitting there with all my with all the shit and my boys walked to like bro what's that i'm like bro it's good bro it's like bro, get out of here bro like it's don't get, yeah don't, don't, don't get next to me bro she comes in bro she kind of comes in a little late I mean, she walks in and i'm like handing her shit i'm like yo look i got you this right and she was like why would you like it's like why would you try to give that to me right now she's like just like leave it on my desk or something <laughs> And my boy behind me was like, damn. damn. And I was just like, fuck, Ooh. bro. This is hella embarrassing, bro. So I just ran to the classroom, damn. Like, walked hella fast to the classroom, bro. Just do that shit on her desk, bro. And I just went to my desk, bro, and just put my head down, bro. Had to. And I just Ooh. hear hella people like, hey. Like, bro, you good? They're like, hey. Like, they're, they're like walking up to the girl. like, who got you all this shit, bro? And she's like, Michael. Yeah, I'm over there. Yeah, like, Michael did. That, that loser. Michael yeah, Mike, Mike, <laughs> Michael did. I was like, wow, bro. Like, bro, cr crusty Mike. That's wild, yeah, bro. The way she, you know what I'm saying? Like, because nah, I remember I told him a story, too, bro. It's so crazy that how eager we were even as kids to just be like okay bro i want this girl's approval to the next i'll do anything mm -hmm. damn near you know what i'm saying this nigga was spending Man, damn near his dead. last dime you know what i'm saying like come on bro as a kid bro i remember i was so fucking like i just wanted this one girl so bad and me and all my homies one of my boys you know what i'm saying i know he's probably gonna watch this episode he knows exactly the story i'm talking about right now we were hella young we were in fourth or fifth grade there was this one girl that every fifth grade boy sixth grade boy fucking wanted bro we all wanted to date this girl so niggas were like bring her roses stuff like that whatever you know what i'm saying she's just taking it like you know what i mean she'll get a rose and she'll like like damn act like you handed me a rose she's like oh thank you throw it over Anyways, <laughs> oh. one of those bitches she didn't give a right fuck. there right damn near right in front of bro and the niggas would be like all right cool i'll just get one tomorrow <laughs> you know what I mean? like bro damn near like that right she just knew she was that that girl yeah, right yeah. at the time so yeah. i remember this one day i was like see and I'm a young nigga too. This is how you know I was already kind of uh, intellectual. I'm thinking a little bit deeper than every other other young <laughs> nigga around me. Me and my boy was just kind of putting two and two. Like, all right, bruh. She don't appreciate that all these niggas are just showering her with all this stuff. She doesn't care because she gets it every day, bro. Yeah. So then I was just like, you know what? I got to get her something better bro they're just getting their fucking stupid plants that are gonna die tomorrow bro it's definitely yeah. gonna die you just plucked it my yeah, nigga right it's gonna right. die no right water or nothing. there's no water or anything bro you <laughs> yeah. just gave it to her bear you know yeah. but i was like all right fuck it cool i go to my house the same damn near the same day after you know i i, I heard that oh, no no she said she was talking to one of her friends. That's how it always went down. We would always kind of overhear the girl say she liked something, right? From like mm -hmm. one of her homegirls or whatever. She said she liked damn near like just shiny things. You know, she's a little girl. She never said something like that. Oh, that is like yeah. stuff that's shiny or some shit, whatever fucking the fuck it was. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? She's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> she said some dumb shit like that so we're just like okay bro it's good i go to my house i'm like bro what's something that is fucking shiny bro these spoons she don't need a spoon <laughs> need you know what i'm saying i was like ah you know uh i don't fucking know bro what can i find in here so i go to my mom's room mom and dad's room i'm looking around the room i'm like god oh, those keys look pretty cool she don't want a set of keys 
what she gonna do with this bro she ain't gonna unlock nothing and then bro for some reason i don't know why bro was like god or something this was one day mom never did it before she was about to take a shower and she took off her wedding ring Oh brother, <laughs> that's where we're going. Brother, that's where we're going, that's bro. Where that's we're where going? we're going, bro. Yeah, I never told you the story. Yeah, it's crazy. Like the spoons, yeah, bro. Me. Yeah, on me, bro. I should have got the spoons it's a instead. Big jump. Oh, that's I mean, a it's big a jump. crazy jump. Yeah. So Whoa. I look at it, bro. She sits it on her counter. She jumps in the shower. I'm like, and I didn't understand like what marriage was or how you yeah. know important this yeah. ring was. You know what I'm saying? I'm just sitting there, just like, oh, okay, well, this it's is jewelry. just a fucking ring. It's this is jewelry. Yeah, it's shiny. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can get this type of shit. I didn't understand the value of money, so I was like, oh, cool. I'm gonna take this shit. My mom can get another one tomorrow. What the fuck? I go, I grab it, nigga, put it in my backpack. And at first, bro, my mom, she just thinks she lost it. You know what I'm saying? She started asking around the house, like, hey, you know, um, I lost my wedding ring. Does anybody know where it's at? And she's asking me and my brothers, and we're all just like, like, both of my brothers are just like, what the fuck? Like, no. They literally are just sitting, and I'm playing along, just like, what the mm. heck? Mom, you lost your wedding ring? Oh my God. Try to look for it. Heck? You're I'm trying like, to look I'm for it harder. harder, harder than anybody. <laughs> I'm flipping the couches. I'm fucking flipping the house upside down. You know what I'm saying? Looking for the shit. And then so I finally I get to school. I'm like, all right, cool, bro. Got away with it. My mom just thinks she lost it. Cool, bro. This is all working out, bro. I go to school and I, I see her at lunch. So I call her over. I'm just like, hey, I'm just call her m i was like hey m um you know i really uh i just want to let you know i got you know i really like you and i got a present for you she's like oh my god really i'm like yeah, yeah. i pull it out of my backpack bro i pull her out a fucking wedding ring bro. <laughs> as a fucking like 12 year old boy thinking like oh bro this is just a normal gift that we give to girls she fuck, it. fuck with it you know what I'm saying? I just give it to her. It's not no box or anything. They got to pull it out of my backpack. There's hella fucking Cheeto dust Crumbs and God on. knows what in my backpack. You know what I mean? Bro, I pull it out. Hello I give it to her. It, you know what I'm saying? She puts it on her face. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> and, uh, it's so crazy. Like, you know what I mean? She's juiced about it, right? She tells all her friends, this, this, and that. I'm thinking like, yo, I didn't even go to the homie like, yo, bruh. I got a fucking girlfriend now, <laughs> bro. You know what I'm saying? Because she likes it. Put a ring she on that bitch. Her. I put a ring on it, bro. Yep. She's mine, bro. You know what I'm saying? She's rocking with me. Damn near, I'm going to say a couple days later, bro. I'm thinking like, oh, we're going to start hanging out, whatever we do. I'm still saying, what's up to her? I'm going up to her. Hey, what's going on? What's going on, Em? She's like, hi. Keeps walking. I'm like, <laughs> do you need another ring? <laughs> <laughs> i'm like what the fuck but she need a matching bracelet bro yeah, she need a set yeah, she need something. i'm like bro what the fuck is going on bro like i thought it i thought this was the end of the line this bitch never she, bro she just did not rock with me bro she didn't rock with nobody she was only fucking with dudes that were first and she's a kid we're so young she was talking to dudes that were like at a school like not too far from us or some shit you know what, what i'm saying bro insane i don't know well we had like facebook and shit at the time oh, we were God, kids God, you know what i mean sixth grade seventh grade you know what i mean around there sixth fifth grade but um i'm pretty sure that's how she was getting a hold of these dudes but long story short bro she's wearing the ring she's still happy or whatever and she's still kind of entertaining me enough where i'm thinking like does she like me <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i'm letting her keep the ring still i'm like all right it's cool bro whatever you know what I mean? it's yours and she's like oh my god thank you so much and then my mom slowly starts to learn like you know, okay i never lose this like this yeah this doesn't make sense i remember i left it on this counter so she starts damn near like doubling down like okay i know one of you little niggas stole this shit. <laughs> yeah. i need my ring back by tomorrow or it's gonna be ugly you know there's gonna be no tv None of those little video Ooh, games y'all like to play. Over. And you're a kid. You're like, sick. Wait, no video fuck, games. Whole world, Wait, no video games? You're <laughs> sick, bro. Right? She tells me all that shit. I'm like, bro, I gotta cough up this fucking ring, bro. Yeah. I forgot what she was saying exactly, but my mom was threatening me with the fucking wrath of God. Nigga. So I was like, bro, <laughs> yeah. I gotta get that ring back. I go back, damn near hella and like sad. Ask old girl for the ring back, bro. And she's just damn near looking at me so like She's reluctant. Yeah, like just so destroyed, like, but it's mine. Bitch, you don't even want to be bitch. with me. You don't even want to be with me. You want nothing <laughs> yeah. to do with me. Give me my property. I was it's not even it. mine. It's my mom, bro. <laughs> Give me my fucking ring back. You don't even like me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And then, yeah, but I eventually, bro, she ended up, you know, getting it off her little sticky fingers, bro. Gave it to me, you know. Ooh, Got it back to my so mom's, you know what I'm saying? But And I just kind of, like, put it back. I put it, like, under, like, a couple pillows and shit so, like, she found it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, you gotta go back. Put it under a pillow like the damn. I forgot what I did. Yeah, I did some shit like that, bro. I forgot how I even got away with it. But that's so crazy. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's crazy. Like whenever you do shit like that when you're a kid, and then when you become a grown man, you you can have these conversations with your parents. Because I remember I was talking about with my mom like not too long ago. I was sitting at the table where we were just eating together, and we never do that anymore. But we're sitting there eating together, and I was just like, "Mom, you know what's so crazy? Something I never told you." And she was sitting there, she's like, "Huh?" I was like, "You know, I stole your wedding ring uh, when I was like in fifth grade." And she just, bro, was weak. She She was like, "No fucking way!" I know. I know exactly the date you're talking about. <laughs> Are you serious? I was like, I swear to God. Yeah, I was like, yeah. And she was like, well, she's like, what did you want to do with it? I was like, ah, I was trying to give it to a girl. Bro, had her dummy week. <laughs> but I'm a little kid trying to give a girl a fucking wedding ring. You know what I'm saying? Terrible. 
crazy. Little, little crazy. boys are so pure. Like yeah. so, it is like, oh, this will get a, any girl. It's like me if I just <laughs> if I just buy her some I shit. Give her some. I remember um, when I was in first grade, we had a little reading competition. So if you read the most hours of a book mm. or, or books, then you uh, got the first choice, and then it was like I think there was like four the top four got to choose and you was doing your doggy and so so basically so i i didn't really care too much about reading but i remember there was this one girl in my class that i was in love with mm. in love with and she had mentioned how much she loved the frog purse that um that was one of the prizes mm. so i said bet, bet. give me yeah. two, give me two weeks i'll get the most <laughs> hours in this class no way you've read all that <laughs> whoa man <laughs> bro i i actually read it's like i think that's like the last book i really read through yeah yeah, yeah. bro i, re- I read the first like <laughs> I read like two books. I read like two books. <laughs> back to back. Logged the hours. <laughs> had, my, had my mom sign it off and everything. You know, won, won everything. Read 48 the hours. hours. 48 oh, hours of just straight reading. Grinding, like, bro. Yeah. And so I, I get the first choice in the prizes and I go and I'm like, frog purse. Frog, run it. Of course. Run it. So then I get the frog purse and I'm like, I'm not going to give it to her just yet. Mm. I got to put something inside of it. Oh, you're smart. I'm like, I like I, that. I can't vote. That's what like creepy, that. nigga. This nigga was on it as a like kid. Like a little yeah. note, like a little note in there, like, "Will mm-hmm. you be my girlfriend?" Type of shit. So I, was, I wasn't on that, but oh, I was. Okay, so okay. you know, remember the uh, the little wax melting thing? So you put the beads on it, and then you melt it. So then you melt it, and then you pull uh, oh, it Oh yeah, off. you put like the little um, the wax paper on top of it. They're like uh-huh. little. They yep. look like little beads. Little beads. And then I you, remember. You, you put, put them on, on the these mold. little like little plastic trays or mm-hmm. some shit, and you can make any like character you want, mm-hmm. like little so, stars. Or okay, so, keep going. Keep so, going. so this one was a turtle. I got a turtle, and I'm a Steeler fan. So I was like, she's gonna get a taste of me. You know, I'm a, I'm an animal guy. Yeah, I'm gonna give her a piece I'm of a, me. Yeah. I'm a creative arts kind of guy. Made so a little a little a little a little box of it, a little purse with all this little a little black and black and yellow turtle, and I made it. Boom, melted it, did the whole shabam. Threw that in the purse and was like, "This is cool. it's solid. It's solid. This is it. This yeah. is it." So, so the next day, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm in class. I remember sitting in class the whole time. It's in my backpack, like, and I'm fuck. Kinda, like, I'm looking over at her. I'm like, okay, okay. "Today's gonna be the day." Like, okay, this, she's gonna be my girlfriend today. She's gonna be my girlfriend. <laughs> okay. She's gonna be my girlfriend. So we stand up and I, we're getting out of class, and, and so everybody stands up, and we had like the cubbies. And so like everyone's like standing back in the cubbies to leave class, and she's one of the first ones by the door. And I walk up to her, I'm like. Hey, I got this for you. <laughs> and I hand it to her and she's like, no. Not with it. No. I was like, no. The and, then purse? I, and then I opened it up and I'm like, uh, and, and I also made turtle? this. I also made the turtle. Huh. She's like, huh, bro, she didn't give bro, a fuck about bro, the turtle. She didn't care, bro. She, she already bro, said no. She to already wanted the frog purse, bro. You feel me? See, but that's so crazy. Bro. It's like, I wanted the frog purse, but not from you. Not from fuck. you. Nope. Nope. Fuck. And, and she said, nope. And turned away. And I remember oh. just sitting there and holding both of them. And I'm like. Bro, and he even tried to take out the the, the turtle the like turtles. it was gonna be better. Yeah, oh, like she's gonna. Oh, sad. oh, you got the turtle? Okay, okay. Oh I'll be your bo- your girlfriend. Oh my god. Yeah, that's and so sad. I was I was sick. sick. I was so sick. So and I was like, my first heartbreak. Well, my yeah, it really, it really was. <laughs> Truly, I, I learned the nature, and so and I was like, well, oh, my man. mom loves me, so yeah. So I went home. What'd you do with the purse? It gives your mom. I gave it to my mom. Oh, yeah, that's oh, what you do. Yeah, that's, that's what you do. She probably that's just threw it away. Yeah, that's why I had to. She's like, oh my god. She's like, oh my god, this is so cute. Cheap ass fucking purse. Ugh. You know what I'm saying? Turtle. Did Why did he get me this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, and this is so random to even bring up. You remember that episode of uh, uh, Dahmer when he was a kid and he brought his teacher, like, the fucking eels? The tadpoles. Or the, slu- the tadpoles. There we go. Mm-hmm. Bro, she was like, Thank you. <laughs> and then gave it to and then gave it to another kid. Like, yeah, you can have it. Like, hey. I don't know why he gave this to me. But what the fuck? Hey, but as a kid though, so think about it. I mean, the tadpoles is a little bit of a stretch. That's yeah, weird. That's a little weird. That's weird. Let's be honest. But kids are weird. Kids that's are weird. true. That's, that's true. So you that. think that was in kids' nature? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Tadpole. That makes sense. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. no, be honest. Though. You said, you know, I mean, when we was kids, I used to put hella bugs in jars and shit, make them battle royale type shit. So he thought, I'll just give it to my teacher. So and and so for a kid to get that to a teacher, and she's like, thank you. And he's like, oh, finally someone that like appreciates so much, me. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And so then he's out you know, at lunch or whatever, and then the other kid comes out with, oh, look at these tadpoles. Like that's not yours. Like I gave that to On the teacher. And she's like, yeah. she didn't want that. She gave it to me. <laughs> Bro, yeah, like as a kid, like trying to like mentally process yeah. that, that part God, didn't. God, yeah. It would make you want to kill, yeah. kill and eat multiple oh, people. Me. <laughs> 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 nah, but you know, nah, you ever had that? I remember one time when I was a kid, bro. I remember I used to. I, I thought it was like I thought I was so cool. I was like, bro, I'm so smart for doing. This. I would get like um, like napkins and shit from mm-hmm. like the like the counter or whatever. I rip them out the roll and then I'll fold them into like little triangles and shit. And I was like, bro, I'm such a like artistic genius and shit. <laughs> and I was trying to give them to like my mom and my dad. So I'll slide him like, but I was trying to be like, like on some Banksy shit. Like I was trying to be like, <laughs> like I was trying to be like, like, uh, like, how do you say it? Like I was trying to be secretive with yeah, it, bro. Yeah. So I was sliding it under the door.
door and shit like that. You know, be putting like putting like a like a half M on there or something Stupid. like that. You know, type shit. Yeah, yeah. And I just kept doing it for like weeks, bro. I was like Why? sliding hella like because I thought it was just I thought, thought it was all cool. I thought they'll like it, bro. I thought I'd draw a little face on there or something like that, bro. And I was sliding. I remember one day, bro. I did it, bro. And I ran to the living room, bro. And I was just sitting there like waiting, like oh yeah, they're gonna fuck up. That was a good one right there, bro. And I just hear my dad open the door hella loud, like hella like you know when someone opens the door <laughs> yep, angrily, yep. he opened the door hella bad and he had like three of them in his hand and shit. And he walks up to the living room. He's like, who the fuck keeps wasting all these napkins and putting it? <laughs> he says the Spanish stuff. He's like, who the fuck keeps wasting all these napkins and putting it into our fucking room and shit? And then he goes and throws them in the trash and I'm just sitting there like, oh, oh dear. I was like, damn, yeah, bro. I was like, you didn't fuck with it. I was like, damn, yeah, you didn't fuck with it. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. That's hella funny, bro. This nigga, man. Yeah, I was uh, like, damn, but that sucks, bro. That's the first time I like. I thought like the thing I did that he would think it's cool, but my dad was like, bro, like, you're no, wasting bro. hundreds of napkins a week. Hundreds. <laughs> Writing these stupid Running little <laughs> notes, bro. What is wrong with you? Nah, but hey, bro. I did have a a story to tell y'all, bro. That I thought was just hella interesting. No, let me not even say interesting. I'll just say more so. It was sad, but um, it happened in 2007 in Connecticut. It starts with these two boys named Joshua and Stephen, right? I think they were probably like in their 20s maybe i might be wrong but um they've already been like arrested in the past for like burglary and past like charges you know what I mean? Just, yeah they already have history right so these dudes were already on their trail mm. type shit you know yeah. looking for these dudes like okay bro they've already well i'm not gonna say looking for these dudes but these dudes one day they seen this lady named jennifer and i think their last name is pet pettit 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 it was her and her daughter Haley. they were going to a grocery store and these two dudes, Steven and Joshua, decided to follow them on some weird shit. I don't know what was going on through these dudes' heads this day, but there was nothing really in their past that led up to something like this, though, right? But they followed them to the store. I don't know if they followed them inside, but they go there, and they never probably waited. And then after the girls get in the car, they go to their house. The guys follow them all the way to their crib. When they get to their house, the girls are in there taking out all the groceries, shit like that. And I think mm. the dad was home, too. They break into their house. Like, I think they came through the window or something while everybody already, you know, got everything set up. The dad was, like, upstairs or something. They break into the house. They have weapons and shit. They end up tying up the entire family, hold them hostage inside of the crib. And the neighbors and people like that, they I'm pretty sure they were hearing, you know, them screaming and shit like that while they were doing oh, all this. Shit. So mm. the neighbors end up calling the police, stuff like that. Okay. And while all this is happening, the dudes inside are doing some crazy shit, bro. They're like beating up on the dad. They are sexually assaulting the mom and the daughter. And he had two daughters, my bad, the guy. Um, the dad he had two daughters. One was eleven and one was seventeen, and that was Haley was seventeen. He like essay both of them in front of the dad and shit and in front oh, of the mom shit. Mm. and he was doing the shit they were both doing shit to the mom too in front of the dad and then after they did all this bro these dudes burned the entire house down with them in it with the family in it bro holy and fuck. and the saddest part is they couldn't even get out if they wanted to because they uh, tied think, up right or yeah right? and one of i think both of the girls the daughters were tied to their beds so they really couldn't even get up, you know what I'm saying? Which is crazy as fuck. And then the dad somehow, bro, he barely fucking, he made it out of the house. He made it out? He ended up wow. making it out of the house, yeah. Because I think he noticed, like, damn, bro, they're, like, they're already dead. They're gone, yeah. Because where, wherever he started the fire, I'm pretty sure it was close to their bodies. And then yeah. the whole house just went down with them. And he ends up getting out of the house. He sees, like, you know, the police, everybody's in the street. The police ended up feeling, like, super bad because... And by the way, the dudes ended up getting caught up, both of the dudes, Joshua and Steven. They mm -hmm. ended up getting caught okay. up. But the police felt hella bad because they already like they knew they'd been it. there bro. Yeah. they were there for a minute and they were just telling like they were trying to hold off everybody that was in the street being like yo yo, yo you guys calm down we're trying to handle this situation they whoop were already at the house they were already over there there at the crib so they felt hella bad because they were just like fuck if we would have just went inside a little bit sooner we could have shut that everything. shit down yeah so they're feeling terrible like fuck bro we, we you know what i mean we were out here trying to keep the peace and you know what i'm saying those so, dudes got caught that night yeah they, they got caught the same day yeah, oh, yeah shit. i'm pretty sure they got caught the same day but um they ended up getting the death penalty and then uh, eventually it got changed to just life imprisonment in 2012 mm. because um i guess there was like a new law or something out there in connecticut oh shit yeah mm. yeah so them niggas are locked up forever but that's oh, fucking sick you know, but what the fuck possessed you to do that bro you know what i mean little ass girls bro yeah, that's yeah. evil you know it's like their lives haven't even started man mm -hmm. you feel me mm -hmm. and what's the motive behind that I yeah mean, like yeah and they don't even say bro that's why i said that jump from just being a burglary a burglar 
to fucking doing all this is huge. Crazy. What's, what's crazy is the statistics behind uh, the connections between like petty theft and killings. Like, yeah, it's rare to find a serial killer that doesn't have like mm. a petty theft. That's true. That history. is true. That is true. You know, to just jump straight into yeah. killing is like is fairly build up. rare. There's a build up. Mm, yeah, it's always a build up. Nine times out of ten, I think. It, yeah, it is more rare. It's more of a like holy shit when you see this guy just was a normal guy and then randomly just snapped. You know yeah. what I'm saying? One day, that's more rare. I'll say. Yeah. Seems mm-hmm. like uh, I'm, uh, I feel like we've been talking about it so much just because these like I know shit, but like Dahmer was kind of like that. Like he kind of just. She went straight to killing a even, little bit not because he shit. did kind of steal a little bit remember he? when he went to that store and he stole like a suit and all this other shit and oh yeah yeah you're, the right. Store. yeah you're right so he yeah, kind of right. was doing yeah, a couple right. of you know what i mean in the beginning but i know what you mean though he didn't do it like how he he's saying it yeah. a lot of these dudes yeah. will like hit yeah. stores to the next and you know what i'm saying whatever and then they'll get yeah, arrested he, a few times he for never that. really got in trouble he never really got in trouble for that for stealing you know what i'm saying it was always like sa or whatever the fuck you know shit like that so yeah but that's interesting i don't know i think it's one of the i think you either burglar you or the other like steal hella shit and become a serial killer or something or you like go to the weird way where you're like essaying hella people or you're like a weird like molester yeah or, or you're you know you you'll start, start by killing, killing animals yeah, and all yeah, that other yeah, weird yeah. shit i was reading this cool um report on a fbi profiler and he was basically breaking down whether serial killers are born or created mm. and um it was kind of cool. He, he made a quote that kind of stuck with me. He basically started off by saying uh, genetics loads the gun. Their personality and their uh, psychology aims it and their experiences pull the trigger. Mm. Wow. That's fucking crazy. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. No, yeah. I think it's a combination of just... Everything. You know what I mean? Everything, yeah. That yeah. kind of... Because yeah, your going. genetics is a big one, too. You know, if your family has, like... History of History certain, of yeah. crazy yeah. shit or, like, traumas that they have. Yeah, or like schizophrenia yeah. or whatever and the then, fuck. you know, yeah. your experiences growing up and all that shit, bro. And what did what'd you say what was the other one? It's uh, it's personality and physiology. Oh, okay, Amy. okay. And then uh, your, your experiences pull yeah, the trigger. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So it's like, yeah, your genetics is what starts it. Like, that's that's the ammo in the first mm-hmm. place. If you yeah. don't have the genetics, you don't have a bullet. Your personalities, you know, your, you know the alcoholism with, with Dahmer uh-huh. and with other mm-hmm. serial killers, that's what <coughs> that's what aims it. That's fact, know? yeah. And then your experience, like trauma. Getting beat on yeah. as a kid yeah. or the yeah. fucking I'm touched done. on Boom. and shit, yeah. Yeah, Not see, so and it's it. all of that that kind of played into even, like, somebody like Jeffrey Dahmer, you know what I mean? It was... He was bullied as a kid to a degree. You know what I mean? He was an outsider. He was, a, you know, there was all of these other factors that were built up to why he became the way he was. And I'm not trying to say that's an excuse because, you know, there's a bunch of people that got bullied and became, you know, better. overcame it, became better. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I think at the same time, if you are diagnosed or whatever the fuck, you know, that's a different thing. But at I think it's on you, you know, to be strong, to keep going, to yeah. understand that, okay, bro, this is just a bump in the road. It's not the my whole life, you know what I'm saying? One day isn't ever, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, you know, the whole thing of a joker, a one bad day, mm-hmm. one I don't believe that. Him, yeah. I still don't believe that, you know what I'm saying? I don't think you're one bad day from being okay, the joker, and, you know what I mean? I think it's with you. I, I, yeah. I think um, it's a choice. Serial killers are pretty weak. Um, mentally weak minded yeah, yeah for sure for sure uh, because a lot of people do experience physical and mental abuse and trauma yeah. or, I would or, I would argue about majority of mm-hmm. a, lot, a lot of people do yeah. a whole lot everybody has their own hardships they don't go on sprees but of they, eating people and shit binding them up yeah. And, yeah. and torturing them exactly. like they don't they don't do that yeah. they they deal with it and they talk they probably cope with it in different ways yeah. not all good but they don't kill people like yeah. bro the level of homeless that we have is insane and Bro, a lot of these people, like some of them are crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I don't really see too much of these niggas out here eating people though. Yeah. Or, no, you know what I mean? Being mass murderers. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Let's just be honest. And it's like these people are literally, you know, damn near casted out of society. Almost. So you don't you think get what I mean? You don't think someone could have like a normal life, you know, it's not in their genetics, they don't have schizophrenia, you know, they don't have nothing in their genetics that makes them like want to have the urge to kill anybody like that. You don't think they could just like Gain something that. many could just happen. Something super terrible could just happen to them. We're just like, fuck it. I don't yeah. care. I don't care about anything anymore. I think so. I think, I think because of the way that the human brain is, I think depending on what you've been through can almost, I'm not going to say give you something, but it, yeah, it will change you. I think I saying, what would that be like? That's your bad day. That was his bad day. Right yeah. There. But I don't think it it's just one bad day though. I think it's, it has to be a buildup. Like, oh, what say, if that day his whole family dies in a plane crash? That's I think one that, bad that, day. Okay, How that's old are different. You? That's different. Yeah. He's like 22. 
23. I think you should have a strong enough foundation at that point. If you have true, a strong true, foundation true, 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 true. at that point. His whole foundation was in that plane. <sighs> right, right. So they built it up when, and now it's gone. So yeah. now he has to find other ways to cope with it. But he's had 22 years yeah, 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 with yeah. a strong foundation. Say if you're like eight All right, that's true. and you still have to keep building your foundation. That, okay, I, get what you I mean. would say by the time you get 21, your foundation of your should morals and decent. who you are okay. is, is pretty well built. I know what you mean. Yeah, so you if you mean, get yeah. a curveball thrown at you, you're going to be able to handle a little better. support system. But at age eight, when that gets thrown at you, you might turn into a killer. Oh God! You, you might yeah, just. because then okay, you're gonna okay. be just. bouncing from you know care homes to care homes. But you're saying this, if I'm like thir- if yeah. I'm like 38 or 34 or something like that, I'm super old already. That's not super old, but you know what I mean. Like I'm I'm an older guy, yeah. and some terrible things happens to me, and I'm like fuck it, I'm gonna start killing people. Mm-hmm. That's insane. Like that's the, you yeah, don't I think would that think that could happen. I I think I think it can, yeah, but yeah, I think yeah. it's very rare. Okay, okay. Yeah, right. bro. I, I think nine times out of ten, it's usually something that's just like childhood, from, yeah. childhood, yeah. Rooted or psychological, in childhood. whatever. You know what I'm saying? You have like pre-existing, you know, things in your Trauma. brain mm-hmm. or whatever the fuck, or just drugs. I'm gonna be honest. I think drugs oh, yeah. can get yeah, you yeah, to yeah, that point yeah, too, where you will yeah. become somebody else. Because like I told him a story not too long ago. This kid that told a TikTok video because he starts the video off and like, bro, it, he looks crazy. And he tells a story about how he went to the grocery store or no, he went to um, it was uh, at a gas station. He went inside and he was over there damn trying to go pump gas or some shit. Mm-hmm. And he seen a homeless man was standing in front of the store and he was like kind of just tweaking out. But he was like, ah, whatever. I'm not going to think anything of it. You know, I see this type of shit every other day. He the homeless guy ends up walking inside the store while he's damn near like, you know, in line still trying to go get his gas. Mm-hmm. And the homeless dude's in there. He's like kind of making like a, you know, just hella noise and shit like that. And everybody around is just kind of being a little bit spooked. Like, he's kind of doing a lot, bro. What's he doing? You know, and then I guess it gets to the point where he starts like throwing shit or something like that. So they were just like, uh, no, the guy behind the um, the counter is basically like, dude, what the fuck? Like, you got to get out of the store, man. You're wilding. And the homeless man's are saying, oh, crazy shit, whatever, whoop And and he ends up going outside and the kid he damn goes outside after him it's like hey man like you good bro you know what i'm saying and he was trying to hold them off because i think oh no, no no he went outside because he was trying to tell the guy to wait because the guy behind the counter like the worker at the gas station was gonna call the police mm-hmm. and so bro goes outside to damn near keep him there like bro, I, I have a feeling he was gonna leave so he goes outside he's talking to the homeless guy just like hey man you know everything's gonna be fine this this and that just trying to keep him calm and keep him there mm-hmm. and He's like, the homeless guy's just kind of walking around, walking around. He goes, like, behind to this alleyway, and the guy's still walking with him. Like, hey, man, you know what I mean? Like, don't go anywhere, bro. And he's trying to, like, stop yeah, him. Yeah. Homeless dude's walking, he's walking, he's walking. And he's like, hey, man, like, where are you going? Right when he's getting hella close to him, the homeless dude turns around and hits him. Hits him with something hella quick. And he was like, what the fuck? And he said he feels like his face, and his face feels hella hot. Like, he just got hit in the face with, like, a bat. Mm-hmm. So he was like, what the fuck? And then I don't know if it was his face. I don't remember. Is that what I told you? Was yeah, it hit his him face? In the head, yeah. Hit him in his face first. And then so he like drops on the ground. Like he said he just felt the weak, dropped on the ground. Mm-hmm. And then the homeless dude, he lifts up. It was a, a, a machete, nigga. Lifted up a machete and was getting ready to swing down on his head. Or I think he did. The first hit was like on the top of his head or something no, like that. Or, yeah, I forgot exactly what you said. But yeah, yeah he, but he hit him in the head and then he fell on the ground and then he was going to hit him again. again. He yeah, was going to well, kill him. Gonna yeah. Again. yeah. And then, so he stopped like this and the kid was just like this. And instantly, just I think he said two girls just, came out. Oh, from the yeah, store. no, but that was after. That was after. Yeah, two girls damn near come out. He was like, you feel me? About to hit him. He sees the two girls coming, and he just runs off. Mm. But ends up taking off, and then um, I think eventually the the guy that was in the store ran out of the store and actually caught him. And Crazy caught him. as fuck. Yeah, mm. caught him or some shit like that. I think he held him until the cops came. Mm. But the kid ended up telling the story on TikTok, and you see his jaw and shit. It's fucking insane, bro. He has, like, it's all stitched up and shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, bro, that's so crazy that. Get whacked with a fucking machete, bro. Like, we just have homeless out here that be wilding sometimes. Remember that one story I told I forgot. I think I told on Spotify, bro. I forgot the names exactly, bro. But it was about these two dudes, bro. And they go to, I think they were in a band or some shit. They end up going to one of the dude's house. I think it was, like, the drummer and, like, the guitarist or some shit. And they end up going to, like, the drummer's house or something. And they do this one drug together. I forgot. It was like some weird drug oh, that yeah. they did, and it so, made them like yeah. trip. It was called like fucking. No, it was like five, it was like N four seven point three two, or it was some crazy like, shit. Why would you oh, yeah. take that? Yeah. No, that's so crazy. And you they know? take they take this, this fucking guy. <laughs> they take this shit, bro. And I think the guitarist or the bass player, or whatever the fuck, he starts seeing shit. He said that when he was tripping, bro, he said that he's seen like skulls everywhere. 
and he Weird, said bro. he said he had to break all the skulls like cut all the skulls because he, he got a knife he said he had to cut all the skulls in order to survive like this little like game that he had stuck in his head but he didn't know that the skulls were actually his friend. friends yeah he and he stabbed him. him like 30 something he stabbed him like a bunch of fucking times yeah, bro yeah he stabs him bro he stabs his friend his friend like kind of walks outside like to yeah. the like the outside of his house and he follows him out there he's still stabbing him shit and this old man That's is like walking on the street sees, sees the him, old man and then he starts like the old man sees him he's like what the fuck so and going after the old man he bro. runs off because he sees the guy walking out like fucking like hella stabbed up he's trying to walk up to help him and the dude comes out the house and then he starts chasing the old man and shit the old man's running for his life and i think he got a, i think he no actually he didn't he didn't catch up to the old man because someone else seen him like mm. across yeah, the street. he attacks that person yeah. and then he chases him oh, my. and then he tackles that dude and then eventually they they somehow get him back into his house yeah like they like a bunch of other people come out to help and they force him back into this house and they just shut the door on him and they don't like let him in there and bro he was in the house like running up the stairs tweaking bro and he was fucking slicing his own throat bro yeah bro so crazy did he live yeah, he ends up living. But when he yeah, when he told me that, I was like, what the he fuck? He ends up living, bro. And then he came to, bro, that? he came to, like, in the hospital, bro. Like, his n n neck all fucked up. They had to, like, like, wrap it all up. And then he found out that he murdered his fucking friend. Imagine that, bro. You just thought you were, like, killing these demons or whatever the fuck mm -hmm. in your head. These yeah, demon skulls. Bro, I had a crazy trip, bro. And you know what I'm saying? You're getting ready to call your boy, like, bro, I had the craziest trip last night, bro. How did your trip go? He did. He's he gone. Yeah. And I guess that the dude was, like, the dude that he killed. Like, I, I don't know if he did it before, but because there's text of him texting, like, one of their other friends, like, hey, bro, like, bro, it's kind of tripping right now, bro. Like, what should I do? Like, how should I calm him down and shit? Because he's kind of, like, he's kind of having a bad trip right now, yeah. bro. And the dude was just telling him, like, oh, just make sure, like, you know, he, he stays calm. He drinks water and shit. And then, bro, ended up fucking getting Killing murdered. Him. Yeah. Wild, bro. wild. Oh, my God. You know, how do you just live with yourself after that, bro? Yeah, he even said, you like, know? after that shit happened, he was like, he was like bro, he's like, don't. Had to stay away from drugs. Yeah, he told everybody, he's like, like, bro, if there's any kids, like, reading shit, like, don't do any type of drugs like this, bro, because this shit's Yeah, yeah that's. Yeah, bro. Never. Was, yeah, his, his, his fucking, the drug he took could even be fucking pronounced properly, bro. Yeah. It's like, it sounded like code and shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah obviously, I'm not going to take no crazy shit like that, bro. But, uh, guys, we'll catch you guys on the next one, man. We're going to conclude this episode, bro. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah. You know, follow the page, follow the IG at TB4Y Podcast, and follow the other page at TB4Y Reacts, man. You know what I mean? Show yeah. that page some love. You know, we're going to be trying to do these a lot. We're going to set up a cool little schedule. We're going to let y'all know. Check yeah. it out on the IG, yeah. all yeah. that. All the information is going to be over there. Stay locked in. So, yeah, bro, just, you know, subscribe, subscribe, comment, smash that like button, three smash times. that like button, click three that bell man. three times. On me. But, all right, bro, we're going to see y'all. All right, then, y'all. Catch you guys on the next one.